Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a librarian at the Upper Moreland Free Public Library. I'm here to read to you page one of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. Part one, the old buccaneer. One, the old sea dog at the Admiral Benbow. Choir Trelawney, Dr. Livesley, and the rest of these gentlemen having asked me to write down the whole particulars about Treasure Island from the beginning to the end, keeping nothing back but the bearings of the island, and that only because there is still treasure not yet lifted. I take up my pen in the year of grace 17 and go back to the time when my father kept the Admiral Benbow in and the brown old seaman with the saber cut first took up his lodgings under our roof. I remember him as if it were yesterday, as he came plodding to the inn door, his sea chest following behind me in a hand barrow, a tall, strong, heavy, nut-brown man, his tarry pigtail falling over the shoulder of his soiled blue coat, his hands ragged and scarred with black broken nails, and the saber cut across one cheek, a dirty, livid white. I remember him looking around the cover and whistling to himself as he did, did so, and then breaking out in that old sea song that he sang so often afterwards. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, in the high, old tottering voice that seems to have been tuned and broken at the capstan bars. Then he rapped on the door with a bit of stick like a hand spike that he carried, and when my father appeared, called roughly for a glass of rum. This, when it was brought to him, he drank slowly like a connoisseur, lingering on the taste and still looking about him at the cliffs and up at our signboard. This a handy cove, says he at length, and a pleasant situating grog shop. Much company, mate? My father told him no, very little company, the more was the pity. Well, then, he said, this is the birth for me. Hear you, meaty. Matey, hear you, matey, <laughs> he cried to the man who trundled the barrow. Bring up alongside to help up my chest. I'll stay here a bit, he continued. I'm a plain man. Rum and bacon and eggs is all I want. And that head up there to watch the ships off. What you mightn't call me? You might call me captain. Oh, I see what you're at. There and he threw down three or four gold pieces on the threshold. You can tell me when I've worked through that, says he, looking as fierce as a commander. Do you want to read the rest of Treasure Island? You can get this book right now through the Gutenberg Project. Just visit gutenberg.org. Happy reading! Mm -hmm.